hi so as you saw earlier i went to uh barnes and noble also i'm gonna close my computer because it just puts a really weird blue glow on me so my bestie wanted to go see her new apartment wanted to show it to me um we can't actually go inside yet because she doesn't have the keys but she wanted just to show me around and so we did that and she's like hey if we go down there do you want to go to barnes and noble and i was like of course i want to go to barnes and noble um so i wasn't really expecting like i hadn't been planning on buying any books before she brought it up yesterday because i literally put in an order like very recently <laughs> and then i also got my book of the month books today and i got like three books so um we're doing a little bit of a book haul right now. I have my Starbucks water because I've already had three Starbucks uh, drinks today. It's been a Starbucks kind of day. <laughs> also, please ignore the mess behind me and I had to like pull my bangs back. It's, I'm, I feel like I'm a mess. Anyway, so I'm going to go into the books that I got from Barnes & Noble. Also, I do have a Barnes & Noble membership. I got it last year, literally a year ago. And I have to say that it's low-key worth it. Like, if you go to Barnes & Noble at least three times a year, at least, it's totally worth it. I never thought it'd be worth it. It actually truly is. I literally saved $9 today, and that paid for one of my books. I literally got a book for free today. So the first book that I got, which is the entire reason I wanted to go to Barnes & Noble, was Milk Fed by Melissa Broder. I've been hearing so many good things about this book. I am pretty sure that it has a lesbian representation. I really hope it does. Um, but I've heard so many good things about this book. And I kind of am annoyed because this was one of the audiobook arcs that was offered from uh, Libro FM, and I'm part of their like <laughs> creator program, and so I get to choose from like their free arcs um, every month. And this was one of them a couple of months ago, and I didn't choose it. I regret that so much. So I ended up buying the physical copy. Very excited. Like I said, it's super queer. Pretty sure there's lesbian representation. Oh, this is also from the author that wrote The Pisces, which I've heard really good things about. Haven't read it yet. That might be one of the books I want to read next if I end up liking this one. The next two books were Buy One Get One Half Off. I was actually really excited because I found this book first. And I found it like in the actual fiction section. So I didn't realize it was part of the buy one get one half off. And this is Long Division by Keith Lehman, which I actually read one of his books earlier this year. Actually not earlier this year, like a month ago. And that was Heavy by Keith Lehman. And that was his nonfiction book. This is fiction. So I'm super excited. I think I'm going to like his fiction so much more than his nonfiction, even though I did like Heavy. I think I'm just going to like this book so much more. So I'm super, super excited about this one. And I think it has to do with a kid that goes viral. It's not YA, it is adult. But yeah, it just has to do with like viral sen like not necessarily viral sensation it's more like just like it might be viral in like a more negative aspect but it is really cool because half of it is told like in this story and then you flip it over there's the other half of the book so that's pretty cool and then the second book that i got from the buy one get one half off was the body keeps the score by bessel van der kolk I hope I said that name correctly, but I've been hearing a lot of really good things about this book lately. I've been seeing it literally everywhere, and I know that it just has to do a lot with trauma, so I'm super excited to check this book out. So the next book is technically the one that I got for free because it was like 8 or $9. That's Little Women by Louisa May Alcott. I do have a copy of Little Women already, but it's that really beautiful edition that's like teeny tiny and like hardcover and really hard to read. I actually did read that copy, <laughs> but I'm like, I never want to do that again. So I'm going to get a real paperback copy of Little Women and I did not want the 2019 movie cover. I hate to say it, I don't really like the 2019 version. So I didn't really want a book that was celebrating the 2019 version. It's not my fave. So I was super excited to find this copy. I think that the picture on the cover is so cute. Like honestly, it's adorable. So yeah, like I said, this was about $9. I got it for free. 
And then the last book that I got from Barnes & Noble, I'd best say Walmart, was Ghosts by Dolly Alderton. And I'm actually currently reading her, one of her nonfiction books. I don't know if she has multiple, but I am reading one of them. I will put it up on the screen here and I'm really enjoying it. I think it's really funny, very witty, and it just, it's not necessarily a relatable book, but it is so intriguing. Her life was just like so crazy. So, um, and this book sounded really interesting as well. I've heard a lot of really good things about it lately. And I'm just so excited to like read this book. And I think I'm really gonna like it. I've been in such like a big adult contemporary kick lately. And I'm just so excited to read more. So like I said, I got three books from Book of the Month this month. The first one was Severance by Ling Ma. And this of course was an add-on. I'm guessing it was part of the Book of the Month from 2018. But yeah, I've heard some really good things about this book. I know that it has to kind of do with a pandemic a little bit, so I'm very intrigued and hopefully I'll really enjoy it. The next book is one that I kind of regretted not getting for my book of the month, um, what was it, last month? Oh, back in June. Um, and that's Malibu Rising by Taylor Jenkins Reid. And I was going back and forth about whether I wanted to get this book or not. It was like a total debate for like the past month. And I finally decided that I wanted to get it. And so I was going to get it at Target. And then I remembered that it was part of the book of the month. So I could get it for $10. Way cheaper than at Target. So I was super excited to pick this one up. And hopefully I'll really enjoy it. I know it has connections to Daisy Jones and the Six. And the Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. So that'll be really interesting to read about. And then finally my book of the month pick for this month of August is The Inheritance of Orchidea Divina, and this is by Zaretta Cordova, and I am so excited to have this book. Also, look at us. Look at us. How do, wait, she's not smiling. Do we look the same? Do we look like we could be, look, do I look like a cover model? <laughs> Um, I just realized that we kind of have similar like hairstyles at the moment with like without my bangs. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> she's super cute, isn't she? I love her. Anyway, I'm so excited about this book. Literally one of my most anticipated books of the year and I didn't even realize it was going to be. But when Zoraida Cordova publishes something, I have to get it. I have to support Zoraida Cordova. She is one of my favorite authors. So I'm just so excited to read this book. I'm so ready to dive into it. It makes me really excited for the Latinx Hispanic Heritage Month. I'm so ready. This is totally gonna be part of my TBR. I know I'm not really doing TBRs at the moment, but when it is Latinx slash Hispanic Heritage Month, I will be reading this book. So yeah, these were the books that I got today. And I do have a couple more coming on the way. But today I have been reading a little bit. I've been reading a book, I know, crazy. I have been reading Loveless today. I am currently 81 pages into it. I'm really, really enjoying it. It's definitely a very fun, fast read. So I will probably sit in my bed and read more of this book and enjoy it. I really like getting to explore Georgia's life the relationship she has to romance and sex and stuff like that so I think it's really interesting I could totally see it being really helpful to people her age around like college years leaving high school going into college and trying to figure yourself out definitely a really really good book and hopefully I will continue to enjoy it also I really want to read this book next Daria Sagrate is not okay. I've heard so many good things about it. I think I'm really gonna enjoy it. And I'm very, very intrigued to see the entire hype around this book. So I definitely think that this might be the next book I read. It's been kind of fun getting back into a little bit of YA lately. So we'll see how that goes. <laughs> Oh, oh, oh.